since. Uh, it's been duly noted that Mrs. Huff said he's the all-time uh, the all-time record. Uh, he, he held a single a single game yards, uh, most yards in a game. In lacrosse, he was a 77 and 78 All-American. He scored 11 points in one game as a midfielder, which I think is extraordinary. He, he played in the North-South game in 78. He, he was the team's leading scorer in 78. He won the Flying Dutchman Salute Award. Uh, after Hofstra, he played for the Long Island. He was a Long Island Athletic Club All-Star, Suffolk Lacrosse Club All-Star and Coach, Suffolk Community College Head co Coach, New York State Saints Professional Indoor Lacrosse Coach, and Coach. Uh, coach of Smithtown High School for 25 plus years. Coach of the Empire Lacrosse team. Physical education for over 25 years to special education children at BOCES. This is the type of person that you name a lacrosse office after. Some of his peers, I know Kevin is the most impressed when his peers speak highly of him or, 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 or respect him. I know this for a fact. Quinlan and I nominated him for some uh, uh, distinctions and he told us so. Some of your, your peers kind of had this to say about you. Ray Mills, uh, Hall of Famer, All-American, uh, said this about Kevin. I've had the pleasure and honor of knowing Kevin Huff over the course of four decades. Kevin has always been the one that made everything that was wrong right again. If Kevin Huff was there, everything was going to work out. Kevin, Kevin's integrity, character, and loyalty are beyond question. He learned this lesson well from Mr. and Mrs. Elliot Huff. Kevin is a brother to me. Ed Wallace on Kevin Huff. Ed Wallace, All-American Hofstra lacrosse player and football star. To practice against Kevin Huff every day pushed me to become a better player. If I had to try to tackle Kevin at football practice, I could tackle anyone. If I had to go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin at a lacrosse practice, I could go one-on-one -on -one with anyone. Bob Quinlan on Kevin Huff. Quinlan, Hofstra All-American lacrosse player. Number 44. When I see or hear the number 44, I instantly think of Kevin Huff, a Hofstra great, a Long Island legend in lacrosse and football. Kevin has had a big impact on my life and many former Hofstra athletes. He is my teammate, he is my coach, and he is my friend. He is my big brother. Hofstra athletics are fortunate to have Kevin Huff. Paul Sanit on Kevin Huff. Paul Sanit started every game, and he told me this morning that he played every minute of every game as a freshman. Uh, Kevin's senior year in 1978, uh, no small accomplishment. They were seventh in the country when they played. They were they went into the playoff seed seventh. Uh, they played Johns Hopkins. Sanit, who I've known too long, uh, is a, was a four-year letterman and a captain of the 1981 team. He flew in from San Diego to come to this ceremony. Uh, and I think uh, Kevin, he was wobbling, but he came to see you. Paul Sanit, I remember about 10 years ago, I was in my, my car driving with Paul, and we've known each other since we're five. I said, Kevin, what, I, I said, Paul, what do you think of Kevin Huff? He said, and this is what he said to me. He said, if I had one player to choose around, to build a lacrosse team around, Kevin Huff would be that player, no question about it. And finally, uh, well, almost finally, Joe Ferrara, football and lacrosse star at Hofstra University, had this to say, I always felt my team had a chance if Kevin Huff was on the team. Last, a, a collaboration on Kevin Huff that Coach Royal, my former, my former coach and I, uh, put together. Before any great sculpture is created, it begins as a massive block of limestone. It lacks shape and purpose and possesses only the potential to become a masterpiece by the hands and vision of the gifted sculptor. When Kevin Huff embarked on his lacrosse career at Hofstra University, he unknowingly became his own sculptor and brought his own limestone. While Kevin was not considered to be an exceptional lacrosse player as a freshman, he brought his raw athletic ability, his intimidating presence, his appreciation for the team concept, and his unrelenting work ethic with him to the lacrosse field, which ensured his ultimate success was inevitable. 
Through the combination of Kevin's dedication, hard work, and sacrifice, he rapidly improved and refined his skills over his first two seasons. As his junior season began, he became the team's leading midfielder and faceoff man. The masterpiece was completed when Kevin Huff was named to the United States Intercollegiate Lacrosse Association All-American team for the second consecutive year. By the time his lacrosse career at Hofstra concluded, he became the gold standard by which all other midfielders, past and present, would be measured. In the decade that I coached Hofstra University, Hofstra University's lacrosse team, says Harry Royal, head coach, I consider Kevin to be as great a college player I had the privilege to coach. I consider myself truly fortunate simply because the coach encounters a player of Kevin's caliber only once or twice in his career. That is, if, if he is truly fortunate. Kevin's impact on the Hofstra University lacrosse team in 77 and 78 in particular was immeasurable, and his contributions remain unsurpassed. In the words of John Ruskin, a 19th century British art critic, when love and skill work together, expect the masterpiece. Congratulations, Kevin.